Rangers lead the way. Very hard. Snipers. Easily the most iconic weapon class in the Call of Duty franchise. No matter where you land on the sniping equals skill debate, you can't argue that there's an unworldly satisfaction to clicking someone's head and sending them back to spawn. But not all sniper players are built the same. There's a distinct progression from being the sniper that's painful to watch to becoming the lobby dominating quickscoper that drops you the moment their pixels show up on the screen. I want to take a pick. So allow me to present to you the six stages of every sniper. Before I go on, this video was heavily inspired by this video here. It's not about Call of Duty, but it's a great video either way and I highly recommend it. Now, it's pretty rare for someone who just installed the game to gravitate towards snipers, so it's likely that the noob has already put in some hours with some of the other weapon classes. So when they decide to equip a sniper, they use it like every other gun. Okay, maybe that's a little dramatic, but the downfall of the noob is their abundance of confidence. These guys have seen clips online of people quickscoping and think, how hard can it be? So they push the objective and die over and over to every other weapon in the game. This is where players either write snipers off altogether or admit that they just aren't ready to get in the enemy's face quite yet, and they move on to the next stage. The support sniper has decided they want to take sniping seriously. So they finally ditch the dragon off for the most needlessly long range build they can come up with. You'll never see these guys on the objective, only overlooking it from a distance. And when they're not being executed for being glued to their scopes 24 seven, you'll find them over comms taking their duty as sniper a little too seriously. Hard point is clear, I repeat hard point. Hold, hold, we got a bogey in the trench. Tango down. Another one coming up, smoked him. You are clear to move to the hard point. I repeat, move to the hard point. Now these guys definitely aren't top scoring anytime soon, but they have fun going for as long as shots as possible. Now some players will never exit this stage, and will stay claymored up in their sniper's nest for the foreseeable future. But sometimes, when defending one side of the map, something will happen that will change the player's life forever. They hit a quickscope. Oh my, oh my god. Did I just, was that? Mark, get the camera! After hitting that first quick scope, the support and callouts are a thing of the past. Now all the tryhard cares about is reliving that dopamine hit of nailing their first quick scope. But now they've learned the basics of aggressive sniping, like unscoping after you shoot, using basic movement to evade enemy bullets, and that ADS time is king. On that last note, these guys exclusively run the max speed car 98 because they like how fast it can scope in. But that means they have way more speed than they do aiming skill, and will miss their shots. A lot. But that's not to say they're bad. In most one-on-one -on -one fights, they can beat their enemies pretty consistently, but choke pretty hard when multiple enemies are on their screen. This is where the player also finds their favorite YouTube sniper and hope to one day be like them. Okay, it's just a 360. Just a 360, I can do this. I am that good, I am that good. Okay, here we go.
After some practice, the tryhard blossoms into the full blown sweat. You have definitely seen these players, because they're hard to miss and there's at least one of them in practically every lobby. These guys are as flashy as they come. They all have the glitched or hacked camos, the same pink operator skin that I refuse to spend $30 on, and can't help but why why and slide cancel every two seconds. These are also the guys that when they get out sniped, they forcefully demand a 1v1. Now, there's also a sub-stage of the sweat. You know the ones. The ones with that clan tag. And when you check them out, their videos look something like this. These guys are typically either on the shoot house playlist or the shipment playlist, trying to constantly chase the ever sought after clip. But a man can only take so much shipment. What the bruh, dog doing? Bruh, bruh, bruh. Which makes the sweat start to look beyond sniping. The memer is basically a sweat that's gotten bored, so they decide to use some other loadouts to pass the time. But only something kinda weird, like a shotgun but built as a sniper. A pistol but built as a sniper. The crossbow for some 7th century sniping. Or the riot shield throwing knife combo. Throwing flashbang. Because these loadouts are honestly kind of bad. Sorry to all six of you crossbow lovers out there. Oh come on, man. This humbles the chad slightly, but it's short-lived. And after a couple hours, they'll pick up a sniper off the ground and be reminded of who they really are. So if the memer regresses the urge to regress back to their sweaty stage, they ultimately reach the pinnacle of sniping, the vet. The vet has the best qualities of all the previous stages. They actually play the objective and have the skills to be aggressive and hold their own. They can quickscope, but will sacrifice style to stay in their sights for longer if it means they can secure the kill. They also aren't clinically bound to their snipers and have put enough hours into the game to know when to pick up another gun and more often than not, they'll absolutely destroy it with them. But snipers is their true love. These are the guys who have their snipers obsidian, but still throw on some other camos for that sweet MW2 nostalgia. The vet has earned their place on the leaderboard, and probably have some good clips to show for it. You fucking see him, man. Oh my god. Oh! No! What the? What the? There's no fuck? way that this What is. the? The rest of you I got. Fuck. 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 No, what you the just fuck? got turded on. Ah! <laughs> what? What is that? <laughs> what? 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 They also like to put away the fast snipers from time to time and play with the HDR or Rytec, which are slow and off meta, but still a lot of fun to mess around with. Like, come on, the explosive rounds on the Rytec, there's nothing better. But after all the blood, sweat, and tears of learning how to properly use their sniper, 
their ultimate reward is using the dragon off and actually doing well. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe if you did and if you want to see more content like this. I'm almost at 100k, which is insane, so truly thank you for the support. If you want to see something special if I hit 100k, let me know and I'll try my best. Take it easy guys.